Hey everybody, what's going on? Speedy Diver here, and this is week 75 of GameStop Dumpster Dive Finds. So this week did extremely, extremely well, as you can see. Like, I'm super duper excited right now to actually be making this video, because there is so much on this table. It's crazy, there's just, there's so many games that I couldn't lay them down flat, like I usually do in my videos, and the weekly recaps, like this video. And there's just so many, I couldn't lay them down, I had to actually stand them all up. Because there's even DS games that are so many different games it's insane and a lot of these cases actually have games inside like all these original xbox one cases i believe there's one case that doesn't actually have a game inside like that's that's insane to find original xbox games and i do apologize right now if i call these xbox one games i apologize i just i i say that out of like uh i guess i just say it out of it's just it's what I think when I look at the Xbox logo like when I look at this I think Xbox one because this is the original Xbox It's just it's just what I say. I don't know. I just can't help it <laughs> It is what it is But either way also found a Samsung phone that I just kind of threw in the iPhone box just for the heck of it Because it is a phone. So I mean it doesn't work though. It is just a dummy phone uh, Which means you go in the store you see if you like the way it feels I guess I don't know I don't really go and buy phones in stores I mean I just kind of have my cell phone and that's basically it but either way uh, <laughs> that's pretty much it found a ton of stuff PUBG lanyards all over the place got another PUBG over there a freaking Xbox 360 connect two Xbox 360 hard drives these things are actually worth money which is really really cool uh, I think that this is a 60 gig and that's 120 that's like a $20 item right there so that is awesome two steel books as well for a FIFA Soccer 13, Battlefield 1, which you just can't see the one. Really, really cool stuff this week. Also, tons of stuff on the table. All these different cables and wires and handcuffs are really weird. Wii Sports is in there, a bunch of manuals. There's also another phone that I found this week, which is the LG phone. This phone, it, I tried charging it because it has right here the micro... Uh, SD, uh, not micro SD, that micro USB uh, slot to plug it in to charge it, it just does not turn on. It doesn't work. I guess the battery is either broken or it just, I think because the screen might have broken the actual internals of it, it just does not work. So it is what it is. Either way, it's still pretty cool to find it. It's got a cool case. The case actually opens up. And you like slide this thing back and you can like watch movies on it. That is so cool. Actually, I have a case like this on uh actually no i don't have a case like this i used to have a case like this on my cell phone i don't anymore though but those cases are actually really cool that's why i knew when i found this how to open it because i had a case just like this on my bigger phone it's not that small it's bigger but uh either way I also found two uh, ethernet cords which is amazing because i was actually in need of two ethernet and also i did get a comment uh in the comment section from the, one of the videos where i found these and i called it ethernet and the reason why these are called ethernet cables i don't know why to be honest but these are for the internet they're for the internet to make your wireless connection wired but some people don't know this they're actually called ethernet cables it's spelled with an e it's called an ethernet cable i'm not sure why there's probably a specific reason why they're called that but they are used for your internet so that is just one little thing i wanted to clear up some people just didn't know and i want to tell you guys i like to help out every, help out anybody who doesn't know uh information that i could help you guys eventually know so there you go <laughs> a little helpful tip from speedy Dun -dun -dun. but either way i am the speedy diver and this is this week's dumpster dive finds. Oh, there's just so much stuff. It is amazing. Let's start over on the table. I'll get to the games in a minute. I want to make a little bit of room so I can put the games over once I start going through them because there's a lot of games. First things first is we have Wii Sports for the Wii, obviously. And yes, Wii Sports does freaking work, which is amazing. Pretty good condition, not bad at all, which was amazing. I love this game so much. Wii Sports was one of my favorite Wii games because it was just, it was so player friendly i guess all Wii games are really player friendly just such a great game but uh we also have a ton of <laughs> it's just so much stuff it, it's crazy too this is week 75 75 25 more nights or 25 more weeks i should say 25 more weeks until episode or week 100 that's gonna be insanity 100 weeks imagine 100 weeks of dumpster diving like that is that's mind blowing. Like that's you wouldn't even think that's possible, but for some reason it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen because we are the speedy nation, the speeds. There's the speed squad. We are lit. We are amazing. And don't let anybody tell you guys otherwise, because you guys are the best fans out there. I love you guys so so much. Like I don't even I don't consider you guys subscribers at all. I consider you guys family, fans, just amazing people in general. Because the comment section is always amazing with such positive, inspirational. Uh, nah, that's not even a word. Speedy dictionary right there. Inspirational comments. Like you guys are the best. And you 
you don't even like I, I can't explain how how grateful I am to actually know you guys like I talk to you guys in the comment section you guys are amazing fans thank you so so much but let's get back on into the video found handcuffs and I did not find the keys by the way there were no keys with these so if I ever lock somebody with these handcuffs they are not gonna get out of them <laughs> even though there are toy handcuffs these are not real uh, they're like magician handcuffs or like just play handcuffs I guess but there's no key I believe they're uh, it's very easy to actually pick that anyway because it's not like an actual like real handcuff uh, also found this little table thing that says front I still don't know what that's from also a little eyeball that's rolling around in there found this which is very very useful this is for uh, it's three AV cables and there's also that other cable right there as well but uh this pretty much, I think that might be for the GameCube. Is that a game? That might be for the GameCube. I didn't even realize that. This I did not test out. I do apologize. I did rubber band it together though. This I did forget to test out. And uh, I did rubber band it together. I don't know why I rubber banded it together. Usually the stuff that you see rubber banded together on the table, I usually test out. But for some reason, I did forget to do this. And I still rubber banded it. I'm actually really confused. <laughs> but uh, either way, you guys do have to uh, kind of under... I hope you guys do understand that uh, there's just so much that I find some weeks. And it's very hard to go through and test every single item. Because there is just literally so much. And it's just... It can be very difficult. And I, I'm kind of forgetful, I guess. Because everyone forgets. And I do forget some things every week. There's at least one or two things I forget to test out. It just happens. But uh, either way, this is for the AV cables. This is actually really useful. This You plug this into the Xbox 360. If you lose your AV cables, this is for like, it's generic for three different consoles. For the Wii, I believe this one for the Wii and this one's for the PS3. So very, very cool. And the one for the Wii, I believe this is the GameCube controller one because you can play GameCube on the Wii, which is really cool. So that's cool. This I tested out. This just plugs into either an X. Uh, this plugs into the TV or a radio. It's generic for different kind of consoles and stuff like that as well. So this one does work. I did test that out. We got the Wii Nunchuck, which I did test this out. Everything that's rubber banded, I always test out. Uh, this works. Besides this, though, I didn't test that out. I'm going to be honest. I really didn't. They're just VGA cables for your PC. I had no need to test it out because I'm not going to use it. So I really don't know what I'm going to do with it, to be honest. But still, cool fun. Nonetheless, it's just VGA. This is before, like, HDMI came out and stuff, I believe. Uh, also, we have the, right here, the Wii Nunchuck truck which does work which is the Nyko version one which is pretty cool it's it's not as good as the original but still very good there's also AV cables here as well I didn't test these out uh, this is actually the way I found them uh, I have no use for AV cables as of the moment to test them out and also with AV cables you can usually see if they work or not by just looking at these prongs right here if the, sometimes they get ripped out and sometimes they don't uh, that you can tell that they're not gonna work but these actually look pretty brand new it looks like they've never actually really been used there's no like corrosion or just there's nothing wrong Looking with them, the cable looks fine. doesn't have any cuts or tears, which is really nice. I found Apple earbuds. And also, I'm using my right hand because my right hand just got tired from holding the camera. But uh, I don't know why my hand just like cramped up. We also have these Apple earbuds, which obviously they do not work. I did not want to test these out. You can even see where the little volume up and down is just broken and like bent and destroyed. Also very gross looking, so it's kind of nasty. But that's that. Also, we have the battery pack that does work, and it goes to this. I actually didn't rubber band this together. I don't know why, but uh, I guess I forgot a lot of stuff this week. This makes your wireless. I also, when I found this, I said it makes your wireless controller wireless. I know, I know, it was the funniest thing in the video, but this makes your wireless controller wired. This plugs into your Xbox 360 controller right here, and uh, this part right here glows and whatnot, has a little LED. And also over here, you plug this into your Xbox that little USB, which is pretty cool. It does work with the battery as well. This, I think, was a return because it was back in the box, which is very strange. But uh, also, I don't know what this is. I rubber ended this together just because I wanted to keep it all nice and neat and really good cable management, I guess, uh, and to fit it on the table. I don't know what this is. I have zero idea what this thing is. It has like a fuse, a filter fuse box. Like, what is this thing? I don't even know. It has AV cables in there as well, and it's, it plugs into the wall. I have no idea what this thing is. It's still puzzling me to today. Like, I, I just don't know what it is. But uh, nonetheless, I mean, it's still kind of cool. I had this gift card, which I thought was pretty cool. It's a scratchy one. Cool for the gift card wall once I make it. I haven't made it yet. I want to soon, but I have a lot of new improvements that I'm actually currently doing. Just bought a new desk. This is not the new desk. Uh, you, if you guys don't know, this is a desk. But uh, if you haven't watched my room video, my room, my gaming room slash office video, I'll leave a link in the description down below. But uh, I wanted, I told you guys, or I told everyone who watched that video that I wanted to get a new desk, and I just freaking bought one. It's an L desk, so it's gonna go from here, and it's gonna wrap around this way. It's freaking dope. I haven't gotten it yet, obviously. But once I get it, I'm gonna probably make a video of me either 
unboxing it and making it because you have to make it because once it comes in the mail it comes flat and you have to make it or I might just make a video of it all set up with everything on it. It's gonna be like the ultimate gaming room setup. It's gonna be freaking amazing. It is just, oh, I can't wait. I'm just so excited. But either way, I got a Wii sensor bar as well, which I did test out when I tested out the Wii nunchuck. Uh, this works, even though this part is broken right here. It's just a plastic tip is broken, but if it does work, I mean, I guess I could glue it. Also really cool because it's black. I don't, I've never ever found one that's black before. They're always like the gray color, like the cord. They're always like a silver gray. So finding a black one's really cool. I've never actually found one that was black or owned one that was black so pretty cool i like that uh also we have this which i it looks like a little cane you know it's just like woo, yeah like i don't know i think it looks like a little cane just a little metal hook thing can use it for something maybe uh have this as well which i was gonna try this out this is a usb type c right there and also usb right there i looked at it it's for nyko by the way the company is nyko and it's actually melted can you guys see that that is melted something happened where it either overloaded or something malfunctioned and it just, it's like, a, like one of the wires in here must have just set on fire. Like that is nuts. It's a freaking melted. So that is a no-go. This is definitely not going to be tested. It, it doesn't work. And even if it does, it's probably going to go on fire and melt it. So I'm not even going to try that. But either way, found this for like a traveling mug thingamajiggy. I... I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. I didn't find the rest of the mug. Uh, also, this Pokemon 3DS case. My sister's going to love this. Haven't given it to her yet. Haven't showed it to actually showed it to her yet. She's going to love it. It has Charizard, I believe. Uh, or Charmander. I think Charizard. And it's one of those. I forget. Oh, my God. I, I know this, too. And I'm just, like, blanking out. Either way, though, really cool case. My sister's going to love this. I don't know. Who is that again? That's Pokemon. It's from... Oh, my God. Char, char something. <laughs> Either way, you guys can tell I don't know that much about Pokemon. I knew it when I found it, and I was just totally blanked out. But either way, I found the phone, like I told you guys, the Ethernet cables, which are really, really cool. Three games right here, two for the PS3, one for the Xbox 360, and two more PS3 games. All the PS3 games that I found this week worked, as well as the Xbox 360 games. So this Xbox 360 game, even though when I found it, I believe I told you guys I wasn't going to try it out because the middle ring is broken. I tried it anyway. I don't care. I just tried it. And it actually works so i thought it was gonna explode i was freaking out when i tried it out but gears of war 3 for the xbox 360 does work uh so does call of duty modern warfare 3 and call of duty 4 modern warfare as well as the modern warfare 2 that's in here works as well uh, nba 2k 13 and rock band they both work for the x uh, for the ps3 my apologies for the xbox oh my god why do i keep i keep reading that the ps3 i do this in my videos like i read stuff on the side as i'm talking about something else like i multitask like crazy and i don't know why i do that but uh Either way, uh, also a Wii case here, or we Wii sleeve for new carnival games. It goes over the game. A bunch of DS cases, which I'm not going to take them out and show them individually. Just a bunch of them, but I will talk about this one, because this one's very cool. This is the non-United uh, States version. This is, like, from Australia or the UK or something like that, because it's in the uh, clear case. I believe that's what that means, because I've never actually... I've found, I think, once ever before, I've actually found a clear case, which which is really cool because as you can see the ones that we get here are just these regular black ones which aren't that cool they're not that cool looking these ones are really cool looking they're thicker they're like fatter like uh, this way and they're just cool i don't know it's cool sport creatures none of these games are in here by the way just a bunch of cases but still really cool to have them nonetheless next we have the PUBG lanyards these things are baller these things are so freaking dope i love these things they say PUBG or player uh unknowns battlegrounds they are really cool they have little key loop at the end here i don't know why they threw these out i guess because the promotion for the game was over or something but they are for the xbox one there's one there there's even one that i put around his neck which is freaking cool this was cool as well this is another uh, pub g if I can get that off, oh boy, oh, <laughs> it's another PUBG, as you can see, not double-sided, but it does have those little hooks in the back to hook it onto something, which is really cool. So, Player Unknown Battlegrounds, the, uh, it says, this is Battle Royale, which is cool. It's got this AK on the back over there, AK-47, I would believe, and, uh, it's just, oh, it's so freaking cool. It just looks really real, and also, you can stick your hands through it. It is cut out, like, right in this section, uh, where his arms are, which is really nice. I do like that. That is sweet. Also, this is, there's just so much to talk about. I do apologize. The video was kind of 
lagging on, but I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are enjoying the video, smash or not even smash. I like to say this, smack the like button. <laughs> if you could smack the like button, I would appreciate it. Also subscribe if you're new. I would really appreciate that. FIFA Soccer 13 is a steel book, which is really nice. No game. Battlefield 1, steel book again, no game, but still really cool to find steel books. Really, really collectible. I love steel books. Uh, also another PUBG lanyard. I love lanyards, by the way. I'll leave a link in the description down below for my lanyard collection. These things are dope. I love these things so much. I should actually update it because I have about probably like 30 new ones of these that are just, that haven't been on video. So I gotta show them to you guys. Also, oh, I said also, that's not even a word. Speedy Dictionary, also. Also, <laughs> Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer box for the 3DS, just a box, nothing inside. This monstrosity, which is an Xbox 360 Connect with the Nyko Zoom on top. And this does work, which is freaking awesome. As you can see, I rubber banded the actual whole thing together, which it does work with, oh, it fell. Which is also really, really cool. I just, I love how this thing works. Like, I love how, I always thought the Connects were really, really cool, and I always say that in my videos. So that's a pretty cool thing to find. Also, the Mario Kart Wii is actually in here. Well, not the game, but the actual steering wheel is in there, which is sweet. It's very, very heavy. You guys can't tell because I'm holding it. But either way, you could hear and they're rattling. Hello neighbor box, which he's like, ooh, I'm staring into your soul. Ooh. Now, either way though, that's a pretty cool box. That's why I kept it, I thought it was cool. Also the Lazy Egg, I kept him as well. That's a box that opened and you like put stuff in, pretty cool. Uh, the hard drives work as well for the 60 gigabyte hard drive for the Xbox 360, as well as the 120 gigabyte, which is freaking astonishing. Those are great hard drives. I always thought they were so cool, the way they put the hard drives on the top of the Xbox 360, really, really neat. Also over here, we have the, oh, Captain America, a little guy that would have been on top of a pen, but since he's broken, you can just have him as a little figure, which is dope, really cool. We have Boo, which has no arms at all and no tail. Somebody got really angry. This is a stress ball. It's very squishy. When you get angry or you feel stressed out, you go like this, and uh, somebody got a little too angry and kind of ripped those off. I would assume. I don't know. That's what I'm guessing. <laughs> but either way, also got the Five Nights at Freddy's pin, which is actually Freddy. Found this in a little mystery thing that was brand new. So this is a brand new pin. The the Xbox One S box in the back, which actually has nothing inside, an empty box, and this is when we get into the games. There's so much. We have both Call of Duty Ghosts, which are actually in here. I found one game one day, the other game the other. I think I found this game first, the, the game disc, and then that game disc, or the, uh, the install disc another day, and, uh, they both, they, they both work. The install disc, you can install the game and also the, uh, which is that one, and the actual game disc works as well, which is freaking sick. I just didn't find it in a uh, actual Call of Duty Ghost sleeve with manual or anything, but still great game nonetheless. Uh, we also have the phone, which I really didn't show you guys. It's a Samsung Galaxy Amp Prime, which is pretty cool. It's just a phone. That's all it is from Cricket Wireless, I believe it's called. But uh, still, also the iPhone 7 Plus box. We have Modern Warfare 2 is in here and it works for the PS3 as well as NBA 2K13 is in here. So I found two copies of NBA 2K13 this week, which was awesome. This game is not in there, just a case, just a case as well, just a case. Uh, Madden 25 is just a case as well. The Xbox One cases, just a, well, Xbox One cases, yeah, they're just cases. Uh, same with all of these cases. You got Deadpool, The Evil Within 2, just a case. Call of Duty World War II, just in there. Well, actually, just a case. Uh, Bioshock, just a case. Resident Evil 7, just a case. Prototype, just a case. And NBA 2K14, just a case. All these actual newer games are just cases, but these are the ones that have games. These games, I did not test out. I do apologize. These were the games that I actually did not have time to test out this week. And like I said in the beginning of the video, some things I just don't remember to test out but these i just did not have time to actually test them out but ghost recon you can see they're actually freaking in here there's one which i think this game's not in here uh yeah that's the one that didn't have a game but ghost recon 2 was in here as well there was open season was in here which was amazing open season i mean that's not that cool but still it's cool call of duty 2 is in there you can see it and we got call of duty finest hour there's just so many different games we have Ghost Recon Island Thunder is in there, which is in like a in like a blockbuster case, which is really random. And Zelda, the one GameCube ca uh, game that I didn't test out this either. But uh, I do have my GameCube ha actually hooked up, which is the funny part. I just didn't have enough time, like I said. But it's freaking in there. This is Zelda Four Swords Adventures. That is freaking awesome. Original, like, 
like, I guess these are more retro games now. They're not retro, they're not that old yet. I mean, they are old, but they're not that extremely old, but I consider these or more retro, because the games I usually find are Xbox 360, uh, I'll find Xbox One, PS4, PS3, those are more of their newer gen. I mean, Xbox 360 and PS3 are gonna be out phased eventually, but uh, either way, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe if you guys really enjoyed. You can watch the last video over there, the most recommended video over here. Subscribe to the Speedy Gamer and also subscribe to the Speedy Diver. I would really, really appreciate it. You guys are the best fans. Like I always say, I do love you guys. You guys are family. The Speedsters. Love you guys so, 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 so much. And I will catch you guys on the flip side.